23 years back, I started my journey in living the life of a monk. I well remember how after joining the monastery, I would go to visit my parents every now and then. During one such visit, me and my father were sitting in the living room having a conversation and my mother was in the kitchen cooking lunch for all of us. After a while, my father called for my mother asking her to bring him a glass of water. I was a little surprised when instead of bringing the water, she asked him in a slightly strong tone to get up from the couch and get it himself. When he was hesitant and asked for it a second time, I was shocked to see my mom's reaction. She came down really heavy on him, practically chastising him and once again asking him to get it himself. I got up from my seat wanting to get him a glass of water but my mom stopped me as well and much to my and my dad's displeasure insisted that he does it himself. Finally, my dad got up and helped himself with a glass of water. I thought my mom had been very insensitive to my dad. After all, was it too much on his part? to ask her to get him a glass of water. After lunch, I spoke to my mom privately and asked her why she'd been so rude and that she shouldn't have done this to dad. I saw her holding back the tears welling in her eyes as she softly spoke to me. Son, you're well aware that your dad is a patient of Parkinson's disease. The doctor has advised that he better does all his chores himself and keeps moving. Else, he'll soon be bedridden and get into a state of irreversible complications. Giving him a glass of water is no big deal, my boy, she continued as she wiped her tears with the edge of a sari. Not giving him that glass of water means to keep him moving and to keep him living. I felt ashamed of myself. It wasn't she who was rude. It was me who was rude, having not understood her intentions. Have any of you guys ever been in a similar situation where you did not care to understand why did someone do what they did? and then dealt with them improperly? Dear friends, isn't it important that we understand the intention behind someone's action before we make our judgment? That we understand the why before we judge the what? I also thought to myself that right and wrong can never be black or white. What's right in one situation can be wrong in another. And what's wrong in a situation can be right in another. Being strong and hurtful in one's speech is certainly wrong. Would you then call my mother's strong speech wrong? If she wouldn't take that strong stance, my father, was slowly losing his physical abilities and not wanting to do his things himself would have gone down quicker towards the end of his life. Being strong is not wrong and being gentle is not wrong either. Maturity means to know when to be strong and when to be gentle in a way that we can truly benefit the ones whom we love. Because at the end of the day, their welfare is what we care about the most.